Welcome back. I'm trying to finish this. I wonder if there's a way of uh, adjusting the night day cycle, like forcing it to be daytime or nighttime, just like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Origins. I don't know if there, there is a way. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. This place. We got small arms fire. El Muro's Unidad buddies are trading shots with Santa Blanca. All right, we go in and we find El Muro. Shots fired. Unidad's engaging the cartel. Might as well bring in the. Uh... I've got a call to the rebels for some reinforcements. Rebels. Wait, how do we get into this place? Then fight it out over there. Let them deal with the uni dads. Watch out, place is rigged with an alarm. The alarms are disabled. Reinforcements will be flying in now. Seems surprisingly uh, right for us. low number for. A uni, a uni dad base. Drone is airborne. Dang. The signal's all bad. They're jamming the drone. Should have known. I'm on oh. fire on this shit heads. Shit. Grenade, move, move, move. Kill confirmed. We gotta move. Amuro's on the move. Let's get the motherfucker. We need him alive. I say again, we need that HVT alive. Where's the helicopter, dang it? Not that one. <laughs> we could use that one. But it might get blown up. Is he gonna give up? Salgan del servicio. 
Save me. All right, you hear me? I'm on the way. God damn, that was close. Damn, that guy's dead. Wait. <gasps> Dang it. Dude. Come here, fuck face. Back off, puto! Get your fucking hands off me! Chingada madre! That was close. Is this thing too workable? Freaking smoke coming out of it. One more shot, it's gonna blow up. Target is down. If you gringos were smart, you stop right here. Put a bullet in my brain and go about your fucking business. Maybe we just like your company, Muro. is isn't every day we meet a genuine Billy badass. You got wells, I give you that. But you pendejos are just as people on my way to killing a sueño. Two men like you being friends? You all had to know one day you were gonna try to kill each other. Maybe. True amigos are a rare thing in this line of work. You can always count on blood. However, between me jefe and mi hermano, the choice will always be mi hermano. I'm gonna skin that pendejo sueño and I'm gonna hang his fucking face on the wall. Or like a trophy, you know? Yeah, I get the idea. But you? I ain't gonna take no trophy when I kill you. You ain't worth it. About to blow up this thing. No one was complaining about the uh, the smoke pouring out of the engine. This is what happens when you try to take out the car that they're using. You might end up needing it. Oh, should I steal someone else's car? I'll try to pick one where no one's uh, too close to it. Not that it matters. Um, Silencio, Marche. Don't get run over. I'm 
What's gonna happen? Like, would he? Would he like? Go ahead, I'll catch up. Run away? Engaging hostiles. They got cartel reinforcements. Great. You need that. It's fantastic. Nope. Don't do that. Zid El Muro, welcome to the end of your illustrious career. I like you, Yankees. You always know how to dream. I thought it was him that was, um, Quédate quieto. showing the, uh, the alert. It was actually the bad guys nearby. That reporter is already putting stories on the interwebs. She doesn't mention it, but she says the rebels freed her and the other prisoners, and that we're awesome. That's pretty cool that the uh, the people that we had some major interactions with, their stories sort of gets spread out from the other characters, the NPCs. Do you have anything interesting to say? He's an angry guy, that's for sure. No eres más que una puta. I see what you mean. You want some vengeance against Sueño? I am the means and the way. You just have to start talking. Every word you say is a nail in his coffin. This is why you keep me alive? Eres muy pendeja. To him to kill my brother. Shed my blood in this pinch of fucking Bolivian wasteland. I don't even have his goddamn body. Now you expect me to help you take down my best friend? What fucking planet do you think you're on? Helping us nab Sueño is protecting yourself. Why would I do that to him? To myself? Ubicate vieja. We are men out here in the wild. We don't play these pinches Moritos games. I respect Sueño. And if I'm going to respect myself, I'm going to put him down with my own bullet. De mi fusca cabrona. And now, I got a bullet for you too, Karen Bowman. What? Fifteen thousand. My security forces were shattered. I was a king without an army. My generals were dead or captured. I had no defenses, no armor. What use was a gun without a loyal hand to hold it? I had lost the only man I ever considered a friend. And when I asked my partners in Mexico for more sicarios, they refused. I would try to recruit from the gangs in El Salvador and Honduras. One man's war zone is another man's talent pool. But it would take time to train them, to cultivate them. Time I would spend with a target on my back, waiting for someone else to come for the crown. No, 
All right, Bowman. What's the next uh, situation? I'm waiting. Hola, caballeros. Oh. You four are causing me more trouble than I've ever had in Bolivia. The pleasure's all ours, Sueño. But if you like, we can end this right now. Just turn yourself in. All this trouble for Ricky Sandoval. A cabron who was little more than a corrupt policeman. You have no idea what is really going on. I can give you the truth about Sandoval. Enough bullshit. I have evidence, an audio recording of Ricky Sandoval confessing his greatest sin. Then you will see that your whole mission, your entire reason for being here, is based on a lie. Are you really this desperate to save your own ass? More lies? I am many things, but a liar is not one of them. Listen to the audio recording yourself. There will be no tricks, but I doubt you will have much reason to come after me once you hear what Sandoval has to say. <laughs> Interesting. Well, that's El Muro. So what happened to him? He refuses to give up his info. Did they just execute him? I don't think so. Maybe they sent him to prison. So what am I looking at here? What's this whole section here? There's nothing. Huh? Is Bowman going to give me something? <laughs> Waiting for that mission uh, objective. What's happening? Nope. That's not what I want. What's going on? What's up, Karen? Thanks for that intel on the rival cartel. A bit of misinformation, all that cloak and daggery stuff. It helped out with that Sicario El Jefe made me interrogate. And I'd like to say that my afternoon with Yuri and Polito was the first time oh, I ever enjoyed hurting a prisoner, but well, that'd be a lie. And I won't pretend I feel guilty about it, but El Sueño's offering to give us Oops. Agent Sandoval's recorded confession. It's probably a trap, but we can't afford not to check it out. And what was he saying before? Hang on. Um. What's up, Karen? Thanks for that intel on the rival cartel. A bit of misinformation, all that cloak and daggery stuff. It helped out with that Sicario El Jefe made me interrogate. And I'd like to say that my afternoon with Yuri and Polito was the first time I'd ever enjoyed hurting a prisoner, but well, that'd be a lie. I won't pretend I feel guilty about it, but it's not something I advertise. I feel like we can be the bad guy just as much as we can be the good guy. You know what I mean? Like these two lovebirds, for all that bad shit they're capable of, they are just as capable of doing good shit. They've got this reputation as total psychos, which, you know, they probably are, but... Most of their interrogation methods are textbook, straight out of the manual from the School of the Americas. The rest of it, all that kinky shit Polito says he got out of some sexy French novel called Story of the Eye. Look, I'm not defending them, I'm not. I'm just saying that they're not creative. And if they're not thinking up wacky pit and pendulum type stuff, and if they are able to be as in love as they are, well... Well, they can't be, like, pure evil. Yuri and Polito just admit out loud in polite company that they enjoy hurting other people, which just makes them weird and psycho. But 
not evil, right? What? Enjoy hurting people, the psycho. Isn't that... Evil? Uh, I guess if he wants to have a philos philosophical meandering about what is evil, maybe there's a bit more to that conversation than what he's saying I don't know I don't I, I'm not a philosopher wouldn't have a clue but yeah they're doing horrible stuff same as these guys doing horrible stuff but I guess it's to do with what the means justifies the end greater good and all that sort of stuff I don't know it's too deep of a discussion for a game like this. And I don't I'm not I'm not that well equipped to discuss it at this time. Alright. We got a helicopter. We're good. Uh which pocket? I'll fly. Sueno said the audio recorder is here. Exercise some extreme caution, people. We have no idea what we're walking into. Great. Great. Messed up. Shit, they spotted us. Call Pacatori for some reinforcements. Here we go. Their lieutenant's running away. Forget about lieutenant. Take cover. Where? Engaging targets. Dang it. You fool. Why'd you run out? Why is there more than one? Alright. Alright, time for this. Get in, get out. Oh, he's getting tortured. I skipped that. I thought it would just keep on playing, but I was wrong. the helo. Two of them, eh? Dang it. So what was that recording? A horrible, horrible recording. That's not it. Dang it! Oh, 
when they hear that later on. Fucking hell. Cover, get to cover. We gotta get out of here. So what are we doing here? We done? What? Uh, one, zero of one. The heck? I gotta listen to that again. Sorry about this. I gotta hear the conversation. I like it fast forwarded. to die, Ricky. Even if Yuri and Bolito stop. If they stop giving you pain right at this moment, you'd still die. Yeah, I figured as much. We already know the truth, but I want to know why. Tell me, Ricky. Then I promise I will make the pain go away. All right, F.A. It's a little too late for my confession to do you any good, so... I chalk this up to professional courtesy. <laughs> it was me. I blew up the embassy in La Paz. You blew up the U.S. embassy in La Paz? Yeah. And it wasn't some DEA or CI false flag bullshit. The rebels helped with the op, but it was me. Why bomb your own embassy? I had no choice. My bosses were going to pull me out of Bolivia. No one gave a shit about what you were doing down here. No one wanted to commit... to commit any resources to, to stopping you assholes. I... I needed them to pay attention. And for that, I needed theater. And people don't pay attention at the theater unless somebody dies. Mmm. He's got his own idealism. Twisted. Very twisted. Have I seen this? Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our we target, did. the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Oh, this is the intro Yesterday, bit. they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. 
Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, boss of bosses, El Sueño. Yeah, we're there. Oh, uh, what? I wasn't expecting this. Oh, yeah, this is a new cutscene. Okay. I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization, which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land. Bolivia. We came here. We bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. Wait, is we this bought the, the intro? police, the military, the judges, the politicians. The we were on the verge of becoming the government itself, on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Yeah, this is the intro. This is not the ending. I thought I had to watch this, another cutscene to get the ending to activate. No. Right. So how do I activate this? What the? Oh, what? Okay. El Sueño wants to meet. Maybe he wants to negotiate. Maybe he wants to kill you. Either way, watch your ass. Yeah, we'll do. I'm in flight. I'm oh, in fight. Let's get out of here. Let's get out. Let's go, go, go. Okay. How is this shit possible? What do you want? Hold up. Get back on mission. What do you want to do, boss? Send it to Bowman. Then ask her for some goddamn truth. There? Yes. What the fuck is going on? Nomad, I don't know what to say. You can start with the goddamn truth. Did you know Ricky bombed the embassy? Did you help? Of course not. I had no fucking idea. Ricky, he... messed up. Messed up? Messed up? 
Bowman. The entire reason we are here, the whole goddamn operation, all of this is a big fucking lie. You think I don't know that? He was my fucking friend. He burned me harder than anyone on this. So what are you gonna do about it? Sueño is still a plague. This doesn't change that. He deserves to go to prison for the rest of his life. Prison? He deserves to get lit the fuck up and dragged through the streets by dogs. Fuck prison. <sighs> I don't know. You don't know? What, what do you mean, you don't know? I mean, I don't know. I... I need time. I need to think. Bowman out. Hmm, interesting. Alright, I think we can port there. Let's hope they've got a helicopter there. No, it's a good re review of why we were here. Those uh, cutscenes. Re review. Oh, you don't you don't have a helicopter, do you? Yes you do. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. I'll fly. So you gonna get back to me or Come on. what? Bowman, you gonna get back to me? There's got to be some intel we can dig up around here. Got a large cartel base. Keep your eyes open. I still don't see anybody. What the fuck is going on? Stay sharp. Watch for an ambush. Phone. That's no IED. It's ringing too much. Find it. Picked it up. There's the phone. We oh, answer. I thought it was before. I ain't picking that shit up. Fuck's sake. Hola, caballeros. This is El Sueño. It is a pleasure to finally speak with you. And here I thought we were gonna meet face to face. Don't tell me you're running late. I apologize for the. We're getting here. set up. where you are then we'll talk I am only attempting to end the bloodshed there is no need for it it's bad for my business and it is bad for Bolivia this country has been trying to get back on its feet for decades do not kick it back down says the guy who turned this country into his own personal glory hole you got something of value to say there are four cars in front of you 
Consider them a signing bonus. You better say that again. Must be something wrong with my hearing. You want to hire us? You're four of the most dangerous people alive. Of course I want to hire you. Every day you risk your life for your country. And your government pays you casi nada. Put those skills to work for me. For Santa Blanca. And you will make more money than you can imagine. Sorry. We're gonna have to politely ask you to go fuck yourself. See, we only came to this meeting to kill you. The fact that you aren't here just means you get a little more time on this earth. But I figure you should start saying your goodbyes. Because we're coming for you. And we're gonna burn you down. So be it. I will enjoy watching you try. Okay. Bowman, we're still breathing. The Sueño made us a pretty lucrative job offer. Job offer? Did you take it? Benefits package wasn't great. We told him we were gonna kill him. So you're stuck with us for now. Fair enough. Be in touch. Mission complete. New ending. Oh, got to replay the mission. Excess Suino's mission through the cartel overview. Okay. What? I gotta leave the area. How do- Hang on, something weird's going on here. Wait, 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 what's this entire area for? Strange. Oh, it's this one. We've received word from Pakatari that one of his rebels might have discovered El Sueño's location. Talk to the rebel and find out what he knows. Whoa, did they just change the location? No, they didn't. We've received word from Pakatari that one of his rebels might have discovered El Sueño's location. Alright. I don't know if I want to do that Project Oracle one. I might. I might do that one. It might be a really long mission, though. Hola. Even after you blew all that shit up, the cartels Montoya base had so much equipment. The rifles, all those mortars, the vehicles. We're a real army now, carnal. Mm. I'll drive. We're gonna have to go through that crazy mission again. Driving all the way up, up the thing, mountain. This is 
the RV. Something isn't right. Come on, move. Shit, I got a body here. It's that rebel leader Amaru. We freed that guy from the cartel. I'm trying to call Pac, but it isn't going through. Think Pac and his rebels threw down with the cartel? And Pac had to run? It doesn't look like there was much of a fight here. I'm calling Bowman. Maybe she's heard from Pac. Bowman, you got a situation. You set up a meet with Pac and one of his guys. With Pac? Where are you? Listen. Instead of Pac, we found Amaru. He's been killed. Have you heard from Pakatari? Pakatari is here with me in Pukara. Bowman. Bowman. The hell is going on here? No idea. But we gotta get to Bowman. Fast. Never thought I'd hear myself say this about a CIA officer, but if they hurt her, I will burn this whole country down and get back at them. Right there with you, man. Bowman said Pack was with her. Then the call got cut off. Might be the sat phone dropped the call. Might be Pack fucked us. Weaver, can you track Bowman's last known in Bukhara? Got it. Here we go. I hope this is the right way of doing it. It did say replay the mission again. I don't know about the, yeah, Project Oracle. I don't know the length of it. I should have checked that. I did read a little bit, a bit about it. Seems, uh, seems quite involved. If it's super challenging, like Sam Fish's mission, I, I might skip it. Here we go. Let's go. Oh yeah, there's gonna be crazy timing as well. Take that one. Bowman. Pakatari. What about him? He turned on us. We were sent here as a diversion. Diversion from what? Sueño. The rebels found out where he is. Pack wants to have a public execution. Sorry, are you saying we need to stop Sueño from getting killed? I'm saying Sueño deserves to rot in prison for the rest of his life, not go out like a martyr. More importantly, he's got enough information inside his head to take down every major cartel out there. I intend to extract that information as thoroughly and as painfully as possible. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. Here we go. Nomad. You understand what this means, right? From here on out, Pakatari and the Rebels are no longer our allies. Oh boy, here we go. I was just thinking, maybe I should find a helicopter and fly there. It might be a longer trip. Oh, uh, here we go, it's got the Contact. timer. Contact! Rebel hostiles! Wait! Opening fire.
Where is the... There we go. No, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Hola, camarada. Pack, what the hell are you trying to do? Same thing as you, amigo. Doing what's right for my country. El sueño will die on Bolivia's soil. My people must know. The government must know. The other cartels must know. The rebels are not slaves for the Americans. We are strong on our own. That why you kill the Maru? Because he wasn't strong enough. Amaru was a man of ideals. Brilliant ideals. But ideals do not feed people. Ideals do not build armies. Ideals do not take down corrupt governments. Neither does getting your people killed. My people know that if they die today, they will return tomorrow as thousands and thousands. That's not going to make it any less painful. There is one thing I've learned to embrace in this life. It's pain. A lesson I will soon teach to El Sueño. Now, unless you want to end up the same way, I suggest you leave Bolivia. Thank you for your help. Adios, camarada. Oh! Fuck. Opening fire on these fuckers. Driving in this thing is just a mess. Get out of the way, get out of the way. These mausoleums look cute in comparison to the others. SB built from for their buchanas. I've got a healthy enough ego to say I want something like this when I die. What are you, a seal? Because I don't know any quiet professionals who'd need something like this. Engage the attack. That LT's getting away. Uh oh, this thing ain't gonna hold very much for very long. It's my lazy driving. Oh, we're taking that one. I see the They're coming right at us. Any ideas, boss? Fuck, engaging. Bad 
bad guys are reactions to the blast. I'm engaging tangos. End of the row. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Swapping this out. Freak. I got you, Maddie. Job is approaching. Thanks. Thank you. What? No, no, I opened the door. Are you serious? Holy freak. I gotta go through that again. Unbelievable. I was that close. That blows. I should have canceled out the death as soon as you activate the door. Oh, oh no, not this again. Bowman. All right. I can't believe it. <laughs> Madness. Contact Rebel Hostiles. Going hot. Where's a freaking helicopter? you trying to do same thing as you amigo doing what's right for my country el sueño will die in bolivia no. soil my people must know the government must know the other cartels must know the rebels are not slaves for the americans we are strong on our own that why you killed amaru oh because he wasn't strong enough amaru was a man of ideals brilliant ideals but ideals do not feed people. Ideals do not build armies. Ideals do not take down corrupt governments. Neither does getting your people killed. My people know that if they die today, they will return tomorrow as thousands and thousands. That's not going to make it any less painful. If there is one thing I've learned to embrace in this life, it's pain. A lesson I will soon teach to El Sueño. Now, unless you want to end up the same way, I suggest you leave Bolivia. Thank you for your help. Adios, camarada. Fuck. 
No, man, no. Lieutenant's trying to escape. Say the word, boss. Taking fire from cartel Sicarios. Fucking Unidad, too. There anybody in Bolivia who ain't shooting at us? Good question. We rattled somebody's cage. I'm shooting these fuckers. Oh jeez, one of those are gone. Wow, I don't remember it being this difficult. Ugh, fuck took you so long. Thank you, that was on time. I got eyes in the mouth. Who's that freaking car, man? I'll drive. Oh! Come on. Get 
get to cover. <gasps> Fucking hell. No! Oh. It's ridiculous. Oh, I can't believe we're gonna do that again. Remind me of good old days of uh, watchdogs. Died so many times, and they keep redoing it over and over again. Oh, man, that is uh, that is intense. The thing about this versus stealth sections, which I keep failing. I don't know which one's worse. I think this one, I just get burnt out really, really quickly because of how intense it is. Bowman. <sighs> oh, man. Contact! Rebel hostiles! No, 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 Shit no. Balls. Can we get through? Yes. In a bad condition, though. you trying to do same thing as you amigo doing what's right for my country El sueño will die on Bolivia's soil my people nope. must know the government must know the other That's cartels the must know the rebels are not slaves for the Americans we are strong on our own that why you killed Amaru because he wasn't strong enough Amaru was a man of ideals brilliant ideals but ideals do not feed people. Ideals do not build armies. Ideals do not take down corrupt governments. Neither does getting the people killed. My people know that if they die today, they will return tomorrow as thousands and thousands. That's not going to make it any less painful. If there is one thing I've learned to embrace in this life, it's pain. A lesson I will soon teach to El Sueño. Now, unless you want to end up the same way, I suggest you leave Bolivia. Thank you for your help. Adios, camarada. Fuck. What? What the... Are you serious? No! Get out of the way, sir! Get out of the way! going I should know this by now nope it's the wrong road fucking it oh good This is a terrible, terrible mistake with this car. No! No, sir, no! Are you alright? Are you dead? I'm 
Get out of this thing. is destroyed. Come on. to do this again I can see it I don't know how I did it last time taking fire from cartel Sicarios fucking Unidad too there anybody in Bolivia who ain't shooting at us Come on. Whew, that was crazy. Show us your fucking hands. Now. I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad jefe. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. 
Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir... Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir... Yes, I understand. Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman! He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck! who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you. If you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman. It seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. Hmm. Another ending, uh, spoiler, she shot him. NOC Karen Bowman, Plan Bolivia After Action Report. Officially, Operation Kingslayer was a success. The Santa Blanca drug cartel was dismantled, Unidad forces are severely weakened, and major shakeups are happening inside the Bolivian government. While the investigation into DEA agent Ricky Sandoval's murder continues, we're confident that those responsible have been neutralized. Most importantly, the man known as El Sueño is no more. He is now Confidential Informant Number 38726B, and CI 38726B has been a veritable goldmine of intelligence. The Las Manas Muertes cartel accountant gunned down by the Mexican Marines last week? That was his. The El Saif terrorist cell arrested in Austria a month ago? Him too. Those Corsican Mafia gunrunners taken down in West Africa? All thanks to the snitch formerly known as El Sueño. The deal is, as long as he provides us with actionable intel, we let him keep breathing that fresh, freedom-filled air. Obviously, he's not ratting out his friends. These are all rival groups encroaching on his business. But, as the old adage goes, the enemy of my enemy is still a fucking enemy. And what does he get in return? Aside from the elimination of anyone standing in his way? A luxurious three-bedroom condo in Pinecrest, Florida. What? Along with free meals, a 50 buck per diem, and unlimited pay-per-view. All at the expense of our noble taxpayers. Of course, freedom is a malleable term. Thus, his room and board comes with 24-hour surveillance, live-in guards, and cameras in every room. Ever wonder how a former drug lord takes a shit? Trust me on this. It's not nearly as exciting as you'd think. And since most of the shit I say gets redacted anyway, I might as well give you a glimpse into my crystal ball. It won't last. Eventually, he's gonna run out of targets. And then what? No way CIA is putting up the money for a lifetime membership in WITSEC. Best case scenario? Mexico finally files their extradition papers and he ends up in prison for about a week before he disappears into the back of a suspiciously unattended laundry truck. Worst case, we just cut him loose. Maybe he spends a few weeks vacationing in the darkest corners of Eastern Europe before making his way down to El Salvador. Starts up a new cartel. Calls it El Renacimiento, the rebirth. Spends ten times more on security forces this go-round. Then makes his way into Peru and takes over the coca trade there. But now, he doubles down. Meth manufacturing. Heroin from the Middle East. MDMA, bath salt, steroids. If someone wants to swallow it, snort it, smoke it, or inject it, He'll make it, move it, and market it. Except guess the fuck what? I will be right there, waiting for him. Me, and my friends. Those operators. The ones who can't be seen, can't be heard, and can't possibly exist. Yet somehow, 
still manage to haunt your dreams. Bowman out. Just keeps going round and round then. Never gonna stop it. Never gonna stop the uh, horrible people. Merry Christmas, Runewood. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, I was just watching the cutscene there. Finally got the, uh, the, f the proper ending. I had the somewhat bad ending or the heroic bad ending. I suppose. How's it going, Runewood? Welcome. All right, I'm going to try to do one of the um, free missions that they introduce. Oh, great. They're going to start. All right, finally did them all. Oh, actually. Uh, was it a fun game? Yeah, I thought it was all right. I played maybe 10, 15 or more hours on outside of stream. It's a type of game where I just zone out. Um, it, it, it looks really nice environmental design, but I, I suppose a lot of complaints is uh, it's very repetitive. Um, it's, you know, don't expect a lot of depth in this game. Essentially, you play as a special ops character going to Bolivia working you're working for the CIA of course taking out drug lords and the you know their operational their lieutenants and stuff like that and it's very lengthy uh, I spent a lot of time just trying to find all the uh, the weapon you know all the weapon uh, parts all the all the weapon unlocks and things like that so I can get some of the best uh, sniper rifle and a, uh, ARs, I think it's, yeah. Um, I spent a lot of time doing that, and then I did the, the main mission. It, it took a while. I think I must have spent about 50 hours total up. Oh, no, I haven't played Red Dead. I'm not really a cowboy person. Uh, Red Dead, uh, Red Dead 2. I mean, I haven't got it on PC at all. Have you played it? Uh, it's, it's, I'm not really a cowboy western sort of person, and also the stuff that I've seen, it's, it's a bit too slow going for me. I, I know that's the intent of that game. People say that it was designed to slow it down so you can enjoy the pace of it. It's, it's not really my sort of thing. You played the first one, it's really good. I heard that a, a lot of people liked it, the first one. I heard that the second one is a bit more slower going than the first. But yeah, I haven't, haven't played that at all. Not not really into the cowboy stuff. I might get the second one when it's on really deep discount. Maybe in the next year. We'll see. Oh, yeah. How's uh, how's uh, Warcraft going? I'll be right back. I need to do something really quickly. BRB.
Oops, uh, whoa, knocked into my uh, stuff there, mouse and things like that. All right, we're back. Um, so how's World of Warcraft, Runewood? You enjoying it? Notice that you've played it a few times. Oh, I should clarify myself. I played this for about, I think total up 50 hours, maybe more than half of it. So it's more than 15, 25, maybe 25 plus hours I played during my own, own time. What is, what is this area? That's like a thing there. All right, I'll try to do the, it's not a DLC, it's like a, a free mission that they've introduced before the release of the, um, the game after this one, Breakpoint. So I want to try it. it. Might be exceedingly lengthy or exceedingly difficult. We shall see. In this port, then. Nomad, I have something for you. I sent a package. I'm patching you coordinates now. When you get there, call me. I'll explain everything then. There's lots of stuff you like to play. There we go. We need to get the heck out of this place. Can we port now? I want to be able to port out of this. Dang, it won't let me port out. You're stuck on it? There's little stuff you like to play? Oh yeah, have you picked up anything? Have you picked up anything during the holidays? I'm gonna get out of here, this place is... This place is busted up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I can hear helicopters buzzing everywhere. Let's go. Let's move it. Let's move it. Get on. Get on. Unidad bird on patrol. Watch out. I'll fly. We got a chopper coming in. We're out of here. Did you buy anything during the Christmas sale, the winter sale? I bought a couple of really casual games. It's like a solitaire type thing, and now the one which is just... I think it's like a mobile port. I sort of regret it. I should have... I bought it from another store. It was $2 cheaper on Steam. I'm like, oh, should have paid attention. Should have been a bit more patient. Oh yeah, what you buy, if you don't mind me asking. I think we should be able to port there now. I bought a Neo Automata, but I think I, I bought that before the, um, the Christmas sale. It, there was a sale on for that game. Um, before the Christmas sale. I didn't check the price now. Maybe I should have. Slime Sand. Oh yeah, I saw that one. Have you tried it? Yeah, it's like me as well. I bought a... Sometimes I buy stuff and I forgot what, what I've... What I've purchased. I'm like, mm, what did I buy again? Or something else. Did I buy something else? I might have bought like a DLC or... Something like that. Alright. Okay. Let's have a chat. Ooh, first time I see the door open. Bowman, we found your package. I have the access card. Unidad has custody of a high-level Skeltech engineer. As you can imagine, he knows some sensitive U.S. industrial secrets that we'd like to stay secret. Skeltech, Unidad eh? currently is holding him at an underground research facility, and that card should open the security door. Check your map for the facility's location. I need you and your team to find him and extract him. Think you can handle that? A simple yep. extract. Consider it done. Don't be so sure this one's going to be simple. Call me when you have the engineer. Bowman out. So it's not going to be simple. Great. Him tried it yet? Ah, okay. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. I'm yeah, on. I bought um 
Looks like a Skelltech engineer wandered a little too far from home and now Unidad has him. We're gonna get him. Before he spills any high-tech secrets. Skelltech? As in the tech company started by Jace Skell? Who's that? Only one of the smartest and richest people on the planet. Skelltech probably designed half the gadgets we use. If he's so smart and rich, why does he need us to clean up his mess? Shit, just be glad he hasn't replaced us with robots yet. Um, I did pick up Breakpoint as well. It was on discount and then there were further discount. So I picked it up. It's got a lot of bad rap because uh, Breakpoint, they try to turn it into more of a... I don't know, RPG? More like Division? Not RPG, Looter Shooter type. So people don't really like it that much. And it doesn't have uh, your AI friends to help out. Check it out, weapons case. This will go nice with my boots. What did you pick up? What did I pick up? Doesn't tell me. Hmm. No. Uh, what else? What else have I picked up? So Nier Automata. I played a little bit of that. Seems pretty intense. There's quite a lot of uh, bullet hell stuff in that. And uh, my reaction speed is not that good. But so far, it's not too bad. But I've only played, what, an hour of it or less? Uh, and I've this got... Be the way in. I've got it on easy mode, which means... Uh, there's a lot of auto attack stuff happening. Lots of stuff happening on the screen in that game. Hmm. Maybe it's time we switch to something a bit. Submachine gun will do the job. Oh, there's no one around according to the... What the hell is this shit? It's massive. You see any guards? No. And that worries me. Keep your head on a swivel. You know what's gonna be? Freaking robots. Scale tech. This this bit does it doesn't make sense to me, right? We'll they didn't mark us so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. So how how is that gonna work now without Pakatari? The guy got beheaded, so the rebels are over the place. So is the rebels okay with having no leaders, and we're telling them what to do? Seems a bit weird. I guess they didn't really resolve that part of the story in the uh, in in the game uh, in the um, the s I don't know, narrative is that what you call it? Can't see squat. So where are we going? Search for engineer. There might be civilians inside, so watch your fire. Lots of bodies. Someone's already hit this place. Keep your head on a swivel. Oh, hang on. I gotta change something on my uh, stream title. Uh, let's see. Is it called Project Oracle? I think it is. Operation Oracle, not Project o What am I doing? Hang on. Let me fix that. <laughs> I don't even know this, the title. Uh, Operation Oracle. Right, there we go. Yeah, I'm thinking of picking up a few more games before the sale ends. I'm not sure what to get though. Lots of I've got lots of casual games uh, earmarked. So you're probably wondering what these things are. They just help with uh, upgrades. So you get you get skill points which you earn through doing various stuff and picking them up from. Uh, bases and things like that. Hang on. 
these things are skill points. You need them for doing upgrades, but not only that, you, you need uh, these other things as well, which you earn through doing missions, tagging stuff. First rank or weapon skills unlocked. Interesting. 5,000. Uh, you do various activities. So there's like two two things, you, well, multiple things you need to to uh, upgrade yourself. These are all upgrading things. Right. Oh, there's a note in there. By the way. That doesn't sound good. Looks like we caught a break. The scientists are still alive. They've just been knocked down. Only knocked the Unibet soldiers have been killed. So our guy should still be alive. Jeez. How are we supposed to find him in all this mess? We search, dumbass. That's not very nice. Hmm. Bulletproof, eh? Yeah, I gotta pick up some other games. I'm not sure what. There's a lot of, uh, lots of things on my list. I'd actually played this game, I never finished it, and then I sort of gave up after a period of time, a long period of time. And then I saw Breakpoint, I thought, oh. Might as well give it a shot, since it's on discount. I actually picked this game up. Super cheap in my local store, like 10 US dollars. That was a while back. I had intended to get Anno 1800, but that's still fairly expensive, and I can't see myself playing strategy games for a very long time. That's another thing I gotta hag here. Where is it? Oh, it's upstairs or something like that. This facility is massive. Do I even bother tagging? Oh. What? What the? I want to get to that note as well. There it is. So a lot of the time you'd be seeing this uh, night vision mode because it's way too dark. Oh, have you picked up uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake? What? There's an odd note there? Hmm. There's more notes. All right. Wait. Does that mean anything at all, that beeping sound? I don't think it does. Uh. This part of the game where it's just going around in a maze. Not really what I enjoy doing.
I'm going around in circles now. I knew this would happen. Look at these boxes you can tag. There's loads of them. Look at this shit. High caliber rounds. And these guys want to hurt somebody's feelings. Have we been down here? I'm confused. We're gonna have to fight our wear out, aren't we? While escorting uh, the, the scientists. That's always the case. Fight, fighting myself out of here is not the problem, is finding myself out of a maze. That's the problem. Sounds like company. Here we go. Stay quiet. Let me grab this. doing here? Bowman didn't say to expect you. Cause uh tough little handler of ours got no idea I'm here. What are you sightseeing? <laughs> Hunting trip. Huh, what's the game? High level, skilled tech engineer. Daniel Rodriguez Ariano. See, Danny here, he's got access to company technology that the government does not want shared. But he's been spending a lot of time in Bolivia. Probably not out here soaking up the culture, <laughs> huh? He's been selling secrets to Unidad. So he and I, we're about to have a little chat. Our mission from Bowman was to rescue him from Unidad. Look, I could blow sunshine up your ass all day, but I'll spare you. Bowman. She's my real target. They know exactly what he's been doing, but she's been protecting the little shit. What's he do for them? Informant inside Unidad. These must be some pretty serious secrets for you to go off script. Must be. Fuck. They're here. Get them up. He's just okay. accused Bowman, and my well, character's like, hey, I you want to live through this? You follow me and do as I say. You two done making out? What a tough guy. All right, here we go. Escort mission. Looks like Walker left some fun for us. Time to earn our pay. Puta madre. Where did he Where go? Are these guys. If you want to live long enough to find out, keep your head down. Oh, there he is. All right. Opening fire. You need that, eh? Tenemos detectados a soldados yanquis en la zona. Eliminenlos. Ay, it's my life. Engaging! Yes, we know. There's a guy. Fucking hell. Uh oh, don't stand next to explosive barrel. It's my target. 
It's my, uh, come on, dude. We don't have time for this. We gotta get out of here. Oh, there's a note here. Go, let's go. Why are they why are they talking like the uh, cartel dudes? These guys are meant to be professionals. We got tigos! No, take cover! He's just using, what is he using? A Desert Eagle, is he? <laughs> this guy. Really? Okay. Okay, dude. What are you doing? Should be watching our backs. I think I'm gonna need something high caliber. Let's go, let's go. Where are we going? Freak, I'm getting lost. Getting freaking lost. You still with me? Let's go. Get me out of here. Oh, I hear boots. You fellas do good work. We should get together like this more often. Right. Next time I'll bring a high caliber rifle. And I'll bring more grenades. Engage Look at this guy. I can't take this. All right, we're, we're good. Where the heck are we, man? Mazes, freaking mazes. Up, we got hostile activity. Wait, is this? Damn, that sure got his attention. What? My aim's a mess. Wow, I don't want any of this. Target Look at spotted. him. He just walks into there. This guy. Really? That was messy as shit. Yeah, you're telling me. You're telling... Where's... Still with me? Alright. We gotta get out of here. This place is a... A nightmare. Good thing they don't have a... A timer counting down until the facility Heads up, blows up. In the area. Looks like they're feeling froggy. Yeah. We got blue dad rebels throwing lead. What we got a sniper. Oh, Get down. Oh, shit. Sniper. You got us blocked off. Take that engineer. Get him out of here. Just remember what we talked about. Be careful who you trust. Where are you oh, going? Dang. I'll hold him off. Consider it one you owe me. You sure? There's more than a few of them, and I don't like being in debt. Sniper, Grenade. Get sniper, it's got us targeted. Oh, freak. Grenade, get to cover. I keep thinking I could roll, but I can't. This is not division. <laughs> I'm getting a division vibe from this. Tango's engaging! 
We got a sniper up there. That skill's not on my resume. Finish the damn mission. Get Dale up to the exfil. I'll be in touch. Shit! Open fire! What is he on about? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, dude. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> my bad, dude. Clear over here. All right, is that guy all right? You all right? <laughs> oh. Let's get the heck out of here, man. Enemy activity. Stay sharp. We're cool, we're cool. Yo, come on. Let's go. We're good. Move it. Light at the end of the tunnel. Swap out for something else because uh, I have this feeling we might be uh, getting something horrible. All right, oh, wait, where's my helicopter? No, oh, there it is. I was panicking, it's like, where's my helicopter? Come on. Look at this landscape. I mean, this is crazy, isn't it? I gotta give it to Ubisoft. They really know how to... They really know the landscape. Alright, dude. I'll fly. You really ought to let me drive. What's going on here? You getting in or what? What the heck? Dude, what's going on? Is your AI just busted? Get in. Get in, man. Don't be bugged, please. What? Get in, man. All right. I wasn't facing the right direction for him to get in. All right. Bowman, we've got the package. Where would you like it delivered? Good work. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Wait. Bowman? Karen Bowman? You know this guy? Just get him to the safe house. I'll patch the coordinates through to you. Yeah, enjoy the view. It's incredible, isn't it? We ought to be able to find some intel around here. Where is Bowman nowadays? Wait, there's a person there. Hang on. Hey, dude. This is where it ends, amigo. Take care. Hi, how's it going? This is where it ends, amigo. Gracias. Bowman, this is Nomad. The package has been delivered. Excellent. Leave him at the safe house. Dang it, I cut off the conversation. This is where it ends, amigo. Oh, here we go. Take care and stay out of trouble. Oh, that's it? That's it? All right. Okay. So what now? Leave the area. Okay, done. Where's my uh, helicopter? I like the little details of the dust blowing across the land. People just shooting up in the air, huh? And that's really dangerous. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. Well, shall we return to our regularly scheduled program of liberating the people of Bolivia from the tyranny of the Santa Blanca cartel? 
I'm ready to sling some more lead. Not yet. And I got a funny feeling about Bowman and his engineer. Let's get Bowman, moving. Is Bowman gonna kill that guy? Because he knows so much? What? Oh, tell Daniel remain undetected. Alright. We can do that. Is he taking the car? What is he doing? Do we even need this helicopter? Helicopter's a bit of an overkill, isn't it? What's happening? What's going on? Please don't be bug. I might turn this down. Oh, I might turn this down if it's. Getting repetitive. We'll see. What's going on with this guy? Got eyes on a tango. He's got a lot of background. Interesting. I like the little details. See the guys cutting wood? That's cool. Oh, this... This is a bad place. Maybe I should take the helicopter. Alright. Alright. Let's go back to the helicopter. Maybe... <laughs> I don't know. Gotta oh. listen in or what? All Nomad, right. Deploy your drone. Come on. All, all right. <laughs> I thought he's gonna walk a lot further than that. The drone is up. We got a tango with multiple civilians around, and Baby makes three. Carena, I'm safe. I'm safe. I, I was rescued. Look, it doesn't matter. Someone is going to take me to the airport soon and get me out of here. Tell the niños, Papa is fine. We'll be on our way soon. Are you sure about this? An island in the middle of nowhere? After all this... Uh, uh, are you sure you want to live on an island owned by your boss? Claro que si, cariño. J. Scale and Scale Tech have thought of everything. It's going to be perfecto. You'll see. I have to go. I'll call you as soon as I can. Te amo, mi amor. Since when does Jay Skell own a row? Don't you ever read the news? Hold up. He's making another call. Come on. Uh, my drone's about to run out of battery. Yeah. It's me. I'm at the safe house. We need to meet now. I know a place, a farm. I'll send you the coordinates. Get there fast and make sure no one follows you. What is going on? He's talking to Bowman. What does the CIA want with Skeltech in Bolivia? I'm not sure. But it's worth checking out. This shit sounds above our pay grade, Nomad. I know. But Walker's got me thinking we can't let it go. Hey Walker, this is Nomad. We overheard a conversation between Bowman and the engineer. What are we talking about? person at a farmhouse. Walker. Alone, without security. I want you not to trust her. 
I'm not burning bridges yet. I want to see what this meeting's all about. Before you go, I want to show you something. Send you the coordinates to an airfield where we can link up. Oh, this is getting deep. Uh, no, I don't, Roomwood. I do not. Where's this... Why are they not telling me where this person is? Give me the coordinates. What the heck? Is it down here somewhere? What? I'm gonna have to wait, don't I? That's the thing about this game. You have to wait a while before they give you a mission. I don't know how long you have to wait for. Usually it doesn't take too long. Yeah, not not really. Spend some time with the you know the folks and my uh, my brother and um, sister, my sister-in-law. Yeah, so we uh, we have a very low-key holiday. We don't we don't really do much. We don't even really do much for our birthdays. <laughs> we just have dinner, go out, have dinner. And that's pretty much it. Or have have something at home. Have a big meal. We don't have a big family family gathering or anything like that. Just a, a small family, very small family uh, gathering. That's it. I think we might be going to my brother's place to have dinner. Um, yeah. What's going on here? Come on. Are we done? Oh, there's another Kingslayer file that I missed. Yeah, I thought something like that might happen. So what's going on here? Come on, I don't have... Oh. I complain and... There you go. Because I didn't... Didn't check it properly. There we, there we go. Can we port there? That's the closest place. I'll port from there. It really is quite, quite a distance, isn't it? Well, let's hope this thing, this place has a helicopter. I'm guessing yours is uh, quite stressful, Roomwood. You got a big family gathering, if you don't mind me asking. I know you've got you've got children of your own. So I can imagine it being uh, can get a bit intense sometimes. Dang it, there's no helicopter. It's gonna be a bit of a drive. Let's go. I'm in, let's go. I hope you like the scenic route. Don't mind my driving. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Cars already damaged. There's a plane there, but I don't like flying planes. They're horrible. The lights don't quite work. Maybe I smashed it up too much. the turn Where's this turn? What? 
This is not right, I know. What the heck? This is the worst place to go through. Up a mountain. With lots of rocks. Yeah, this is not good. We're gonna end up walking, you just watch. My car's gonna roll down something. here oh please don't make me fly that please oh first time seeing a character carrying something I think oh you made it I'd like you to meet my team or what's left of them. I'm sorry. The unit had hunted them down using an advanced surveillance drone. A drone built with tech given to them by that engineer, Daniel. This is not Bowman's fault. Of course it is. Her and CIA. They've been protecting that weasel while he leaks tech that gets our men killed. Good men. I'm sending these boys home for the last time, but I'm not leaving Bolivia until someone pays. This whole situation blows. But before we start handing out payback, let's see what the hell this meeting is about. Mmm. Now this is the trailer for this. Y'all are ghosts. Top tier operators, the quiet professionals. Bravest of the brave, tip of the spear. All that in a bag of chips. But even a bad motherfucker needs help once in a while. Good thing for you. I'm a ghost too. All right. Okay. I thought we're done. I, th I thought that was like a... A quick prequel to the next game. Alright, okay. Mm, what are we doing here? Why is there two locations? Have you finished talking, sir? Oh. With Walker, right. Well, have you got a helicopter? Because I'm not getting in that thing. Ah, uh, there's one up there. Sorry, I smashed up your lights. Night vision time. I hope you enjoy the greenish glow, which is what I've done a lot. <laughs> I've noticed... a lot of lights and switches up here. I noticed, um, in this game, I, I get into night vision a lot. Punch it, man. Well, hold on. Let's wait for the others. Usually, I don't wait for them because they teleport there are farms in. farms everywhere. How the hell are we supposed to find the right one in all this? You think I just let that engineer go without being able to find him again? I put a tracker on his ass. Did it before I handed him off. You just follow the signal. It will lead us right to him. Enemy activity nearby. Oh, great. A whole heap of them. Unidads. Hey, an Unidad soldier. Where you got him? Unidad. Where is Walker? Oh, there he is. He doesn't have a rifle. Unidad. Looks like they've got the area surrounded. This could be an ambush. Bowman might be in trouble. I'm picking up a signal from the tracker. It's coming from my house. It's over there. Right smack in the middle of those Unidad soldiers. We have to get moving. Well, it doesn't say anything about needing to keep these guys alive. 
Civilians in the area. Watch your oh. targets. Dang. All right. Deploying drone. Got eyes on a tango. He's got a lot of background. I got a third. Tenant marked. A vet. I can use my teammates to take him out, but I gotta get used to not having teammate because there aren't any in the next game until they introduce it. Supposedly, maybe next year, January sometime. Look at that lady. It just kicked over that table. Same as that dude. What are you doing? You're walking backwards. <laughs> That's funny. Go away, everyone. So you won't get hurt. We're not a dude out there. Oh, there's one more here somewhere. Where is he? Seems like it, yeah. I mean, I mean the others, the civilians. I don't want them to get. I don't want them to get get shot by the crossfire, which has happened before. I was in this firefight in the middle of the street, and um, these guys rolled up in their cars, and I start shooting at it. It was such a gigantic mess, right? I shot the guy. There was. Tango number three. I shot this guy that was in the car right, easy. using my sniper rifle, but and then my teammate said, Why'd you kill that civvy? I'm like, What? I didn't kill that civvy. I walked around. There was a car next to the next to the guy who was trying to shoot at me. And this the person in there was slumped over. My bullet had gone through the the enemy combatant and into the civilian. I was like, oh great, that's just, that's horrible. I felt bad. Um, there was a couple of situations like that because of crossfires. Terrible. Bowmanade here. But Daniel sure looks cozy with these Caleros. Think this is trouble for Bowman? Sure shit ain't good news. Son of a bitch. No, I thought there was a back way. See, the doors don't open. That's what I think. What a waste of water. I love running water. that all right asshole you've got one chance to get this next question right where is Bowman I uh, where I... is Karen Bowman 
Oh, Unidad took her. I, I sold her out to them. No shinto. I oh. had no choice. They would never let me leave the country without her. Por favor, I just want to be with my family. Where did they take her? M.O.B. Jaguar in Flor de Oro. Please, I'm telling you, I had no choice. I am not meant for this kind of thing. I'm just an engineer. Mind if I step in? Uh -oh. He's all yours. Oh, jeez. I knew he was going to. <laughs> he was an American. Yeah, that's right. He sold out his country. Now we need to find Bowman before Unidad breaks her. You're concerned about Bowman now. I don't give a shit about Bowman. I care about protecting the information in her head. She knows about my family. She know about yours. See, that's the kind of information Santa Blanca likes to use. You know what I mean. Let's go. Oh, man. He just executed that dude. Messed up. I can sort of see where he's getting at, though. Still. Oh, accessory case. Sniper rifle. Hmm. We're on our way there. I might as well try to grab that. Wait, let me grab my... Where did I park my helicopter? It's through here somewhere. In the woods. Where did it? Where did I put it? West. I'll see you there, Walker. Oh, it's in a freaking Unidad base. I hate this place. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck on the tree. Great. Targets. All right, I don't have time for this. I don't have time. Shit, we got a sniper. Fight some cover fast. Give me that. Give me that. this to use yes yes oh no i can't use for this can i no it's for a different sniper rifle annoying yeah i thought so what a waste of time now i don't even have a helicopter sniper Shit balls. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Uh, I just want to get this done, and then you can play Breakpoint. Uh, fuck, took you so long. I have a feeling I'm gonna be disappointed with uh, Breakpoint. Or Burnout, one of those.
Get the heck out of here. Bowman and the CIA have been playing a dangerous game. I've been doing it for way too long. Let's get Bowman back. Then we can hear what she has to say for herself. Ugh. Nope. Back it up. Oh, this is bad. Oh, come on. This thing looks like it's about to explode. Ugh. Where's uh, Walker? I guess I left him behind. <laughs> I thought he was gonna spawn. is massive. Finding Bowman's gonna be difficult. Don't suppose you put a tracker on her too? Uh, I don't put those on just everybody. Don't worry. You won't have to check your pockets. We've gotta oh. start snooping without any of these hombres catching sight of us. We don't want to alert them and put Bowman at risk. Oh, I no. You take the main base. Got it. Give a holler if you find any sign of her. Oh, boy. We can't go in shooting. That's great. Hey, Mudkip, how's it going? Welcome. Morning. I'm doing all right. I finally finished this game. I'm playing the uh, the the. It's not a DLC. It's like a a side mission they introduced before uh, Breakpoint. I picked up Breakpoint. It was on discount, and I got now 20% off. So I'll play that, but I finally finished this, the main quest, I finished this. So I'm just doing Oracle, Operation Oracle, just before, I think this is like a prequel before the Breakpoint game. Oh, thanks. I played a lot of it off stream. Um, I played the last few missions on stream, but now I'm just doing this side, this side thing before I play Breakpoint, which I think I'm going to be burnt out anyway. How's things? Uh, was it tough? It was we somewhat tough, all yeah. Lonesome, right by the mortar. Yeah, it was somewhat tough, I would say. I had to do the last mission several times. And there's actually two endings um, to this game. So if you try to take on the boss before you do 100% of all the missions... Not 100% of the map, just the missions, uh, you get a semi-bad ending. But if you do 100% of the mission and take on the boss, you get a somewhat good ending. Can't quite see this guy. Dang, this is not good. The drone is up. Nope. I can't see squat. My drone's being jammed. Uh, no, I haven't seen the latest one yet. Have you, Roomwood? Yeah, it is quite stressful in a way, yeah. Um, yeah, if you're not into the shooting of this game, that it's very hard to get into it. Yeah, I did that as well. There's quite a few missions where I had to repeat over and over again without being detected. It's, uh, it's tough. I just watch it, just... You know, I'm not, not a big fan of it, but... Um, I just... I got one Unidad soldier. There, inside the firing post. Oh, how'd you see that? Um... 
I just watch it, you know, it's just entertainment. I, I'm not really like a big fan of it. Oh, right. Did you like it? I heard some negative things about it. Not very good. Oh. Yeah, I expected as much. I forgot what these things do. Oh, they jam my, um... This is gonna be loud. I know it. Woke him up big time. Great. Oh, they spotted me. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Oh, what the heck? Whoa. Bad idea. <laughs> so far, they go stealth. I have a shot. Engaging. We're gonna have to call some. Uh... Get the fuck down! Holy freak! Bad. Uh, Gotta find a way to get in. <laughs> oh no, the Yoda one was um something else. What's that? Uh. Uh, yeah, the, the Yoda one is, uh, is a series, is a series, I don't know what year it takes part of, I think it's meant to be, um, is it 800 years? I thought it's after, um, it's not really Yoda, it's Yoda's race, I think, I don't know. And I think there were some clues that said that it was after the original movie. No, no, it's after, it is after, uh, yeah, it could be after the original movie, right? I could be wrong. Um, I don't mind the movies. I mean, yeah, it's not as entertaining as it, not as well made, unfortunately. I didn't mind it so much. Right, now we've got helicopters flying above our heads. Helicopter inbound. Yeah, yeah, the it's all disconnected and stuff like that. Because they didn't have a master plan. That's the problem. They didn't have a master plan. Enemigos a la vista. Coordinando el ataque. Let's try to keep going. Oh, 
Oh, he spotted me. El reporte indica que no hay signos del enemigo. Todas las unidades pueden retirarse. Good. This is going to be tough. Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean that George Lucas? Yeah. They wanted to go with their own thing. But they didn't have their own master plan either for the for the for the newer series for the newer uh, trilogy. They just sort of went with it, which is messed up. Bowman, where are you? Where are you? Where do they keep you? Are you in one of these buildings? This place is huge. Eyes on a unit air officer. He might know where to find Bowman. There we go. Here we go. being held on this base. Tell me where she is before I ventilate your skull. Okay. Un americano? Sequelero. Female, mid-40s, blonde hair. I've seen her. I know where she is. I will show you on the map. Uh oh Walker, we've got a 20 on Bowman. I'm sending you a waypoint. And just do me a favor and wait for us before you do anything. Relax. I'll stick to the rules. See you in a few. Where is this? What? That's quite a trek. Underground. I'm almost sure that's an underground facility. We gotta get out Yo, of here. Yo, ground with the submachine gun. Right next to the fuel tank. Is there not a way in? Yeah. Is there an entrance there? Or is there an entrance there? Get it. Let's just take the take this and get the heck out of here. Thanks, my kip. Buckle up, people. Go ahead, I'll meet you. Yeah, I can sort of understand it. People people really hating that what's happened to it I'm opening fire What Are you serious Oh no, I know this place. Oh no. Oh no, not this place. Dang it. Fuerza 
I think there has been a lot of, um, like, there's this, I don't know, I don't know if, did the actors completely bad mouth it or did they just feel really negative about it? Not really negative about it, they had some problems with it. Um, and then the internet sort of took this clip out of context. Sniper. Like, and really, you know, enhance it to make it more than what Shit, it is. Dang it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just entertainment, right? It is bad, though. I mean, if you really like it and then it became the way it is... It, it is disappointing. But at the same time, for me, I, I don't have that level of uh, emotional attachment to it. I mean, as a kid, I liked it. I had the toys and all that stuff, you know? Um, we're talking about toys from the... From the... Uh, 80s. I had that stuff. I hate this place. This is the this is the terrible place. Who did that bird on patrol? Watch out. No idea how to get in here. Got that fucking helo. I don't know how to get in here. I really don't. And they're bombing us as well. <laughs> That's because I've been playing for a very, very long time, Mudkip. And yeah, shooter games is sort of a thing that I get used to very easily. Not very easily, it's just something that I gravitate towards. <laughs> ah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean, uh, Runewood. Like, it's such a build-up with, like, a, a deep... With a lot of lore behind it. And you hope that they'll do justice with it. Especially after episode 1, 2, and 3. And then we get this new series. It it really... Yeah, it's painful to see it become what it is. I know what you mean. Uh, you need the Uni Dad's car. I, I'm not sure. Oh, thanks, Mudkip. I think you're really good with puzzle games. I'm no good with those. Here we go. This guy. Still need the. Here's target number five. Got another. It's five. Oh, he's heavily armored. This guy. We gotta hurry. Cause they're they're just going nuts around here. And this is a horrible, horrible place. Look at them. You see that? They're bugged out. Oh, dang. It can't go through that. Oh, yeah, it can. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Ah. But this will help us travel faster. Now, the question is, where are we going? I'm set, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, you're right. I didn't know, oh wait. Is it because it opened up because we're inside this area? There's something wrong with this. We're not in the right place at all. Are we? I'm confused. Yeah, it could be because of the car, like you say. Dang, is this the right place? Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, looks like I didn't pay attention to that. I think I'm in the wrong place. 
feel like I'm in the wrong place. Nada que reportar por el momento. Continuamos con la búsqueda de los enemigos. Recall, recall. Perdimos contacto con el enemigo. Salgan del servicio. I'm gonna need this. Oh, she is here. Good. Oh, what the heck? How did Bogan. he get here? You took your damn time. This wolf won't take my cuffs off. You guys were just in time. Things were about to get stressful for me. This ain't exactly a rescue, Bowman. I'm bringing you in because I've got some questions of my own. What's he talking about? Later. Let's get moving. You gonna give me a weapon or what? Walker's questions do need answers. How long have we been in the field together? Hey, enough! I'm marking the location of a safe house on the map. If you want to talk, we talk there. Can we just port there? Yeah, we can fast travel there. Wait, we gotta... We gotta bring them there, though. Dang, I was hoping we'd just port there, but it doesn't work that easy. Oh, maybe I'm misery. Yeah, I, I decided to play because I finished everything else except for the other other um, special missions that they've introduced, like the Rainbow Siege and the Predator one and the Sam Fisher one. Um, I decided to do this one because it's related to the new game. All right, Bowman, come on, let's go. Uh, let's take something with a bit of a armor, shall we? And weapons. Hop in, everyone. This thing should last a bit. My driving's okay. Is there a faster way of getting out of this place? Look at that guy, he doesn't even know. This probably isn't the right way to get out. This is how I came in. Bad idea. Everyone's waiting for me there. Dang it. Is there a better way to get out? Yeah, it's probably a better way, right? It's kind of hard because they've got missiles that will shoot down the helicopter. Excuse me. Okay, we're still all right. Is it? Oh, he doesn't even realize it. Nice. Excuse me, we're just. Uh, oh, dang it! I want to pick that up so bad, but no, we uh, we don't want to compromise the mission. Let me guess. You were able to get to me through the Skeltech engineer's lead. And now, you've got some wild ideas about what I've been up to. I guess you figure you got it all worked out. Like you got the big picture. Let's save the chit chat for the safe house. Oh, my kid, this is gonna be a spoiler for you and anyone that hasn't played this. Yeah, I don't think I'm quick enough to get into the plane, into a helicopter before he gets shot down. Looks like we got got out of that pretty good, without a scratch. That's good. All right, Bowman. Oye, the change in the province since you turned General Varo, it's like night and day. Even in Chorrillos, the villagers who used to run from Unidad now they treat the soldiers like heroes. Hmm. Oh, you finished it? All right, enough with the games. 
What's this all about? What's it about? It's about you helping to steal information from the government and giving it to Unidad? I didn't steal anything. I was helping a spy. An enemy spy. Now hold on. My orders were to protect him for the success of multiple U.S. interests in Bolivia. And the Bolivian people. Spoken like a true traitor. Whatever happened to loyalty to country? You should have killed that engineer the second you knew he turned. If you can protect a man like that, what's to keep you from selling information yourself? Fuck you. I had orders, and I was following them. Orders? Orders? Your orders got my men killed. They hated an enemy. I'll take your orders and shove them up your ass. Walker, now this shit gets dirty. We all get paid to root around to the scum. Now we come out of that muck as clean as we can. At least I know what side I'm on. Look, I'm sorry for the loss of your men, really. Now, I might strut around like I'm the cock of the walk, but I don't call the shots. I follow orders. Bullshit. You had command on the ground. You call the shots every time you obey an order. Listen, you've been out there. This is an impossible situation. At least Bowman gives a shit. You trust that spook? You gotta trust somebody, Walker. Yeah. Okay. I choose to trust you. And for now, I'll trust her. You keep your nose clean, Bowman. You owe me for the lives of two of my men. You stray one eye over to this side of right. I'll come and I will collect on that debt. I, yo, okay, you just didn't realize. Is that it? We've done it. Well, that was interesting. Thanks for sticking up for me in there. Walker's a good team leader. You can't blame him for caring about his soldiers. Between your friends and your duty, you have to choose duty. Yeah, well, I'm not sure Walker feels the same. Yes, we've we've done it. What? There's more. Oh, yeah, I forgot to pick them up. That's my fault. Join us in Aurora. That's it. That's it for this game. We're going to Aurora. Not now, though. I gotta. I gotta get some. Uh, get some rest. Well, I gotta work out and then I'll be back. Maybe for an hour if I got enough time. Thanks, Mudkip. Appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't do that. What is this? Sun Spade. Oh, is this another? Is this another prequel? Hmm. Because it's got the scale tech stuff. Scale is the scale tech thing is part of the uh, the next game. I don't think I have the energy to keep going with this one. I mean, we've done them all in terms of related. I mean, he's got that dude Walker for the next game. Oh, thanks, Mudkip. Yeah, this, I did a lot of it off stream. It took a while. Um, and I came back to this after like a year or something like that. I'd done only a third of it. But yeah, finally we've done it. Some weird way, I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna miss this game. Because it's gonna be a whole new environment. No NPCs, to in well, no NPCs in your team. Gonna miss Bowman's chatter. 
Oh, these different weapons. Alright. Pick up the last lot of ammo. Say goodbye to Bolivia. Have a look at the view. Your favorite weapon? Oh, the crossbow. This is the only crossbow in the entire game. You can't even modify it or anything. Yeah, I know you like the uh, you like the crossbow. Pretty hard to play just with crossbow though. I'm sure uh, other people have done it. I hope I can sort of have a similar look for my character in the next game. I have tried a little bit of it and then I got out of the game. Doesn't look like I can modify, like put mask on him just yet. But I will when I get the mask and all that sort of thing. Alright. That's it. That's it for now. Thank you. Yeah, I can understand my kip. Alright. Thanks, my kid. Thanks, Runewood. Anyone that's lurking or watching this in the archives, appreciate it. This has been a fun journey. Oh, frustrating at times. It has been one heck of a journey. I know it's going to be very different in the next one. I'm sure I'm going to get some gripes about the next one. Some ranting going on. Frustrations. I might even play it for an hour and go, look, I'm burned out from Ghost Recon. <laughs> Good night, Runewood. Good night, Mud Kip. I'll be back in about an hour and a half, maybe. We shall see. Take care, everyone. Bye. Have a good one. Thanks. You too, Mud Kip. Night, Roomwood. Bye.